was out one night running late when I took a left turn on 78 and before I knew it I was coming into a town. The place was so small I can tell you friend my 18 wheels reached from end to end but it looked kind of pretty so I shut that rig on down. I saw a sign saying Mama's Cafe and thinking it must be a trucker's place with a name like Mama's, I walked on in. Well, there was paintings all over the wall by the kitchen, but I spied an old picture of Richard Nixon, and I figured if he'd eaten here, it must be okay. I saw Marilyn Monroe and James Dean too, Fidel Castro and Fu Manchu, jazz and babies and tattooed biker women looking for fun. There was Bogey and Bacall and John Wayne's horse, although it might have been Mr. Ed, of course, and over in the corner, a whole painting made of chewed up gum. Well, I walked to a table and I sat myself down looking at that crazy art all around and about that time the waitress come into the room. I said I'll have a cheeseburger, fries and pie and honey make it on the well done side and I sure could use a cup of coffee real soon. She stood there silent for a minute or two and stared at me so I stared at her too and then she looked down at her fingers like she was counting to ten. I'm not ready to take your order, she said, and it's obvious to me that you haven't read the rules of dining in our gourmet establishment. The words real soon is considered a crime. You can't touch the waitress at any time, and talking to invisible people is not allowed. You can't have fries and you can't have pie, and we don't have sprouts, so don't even try. And if there's more than five, we charge extra for being a crowd. No checks, no cards, cash is what we allow. Now take that chewing gum out of your mouth and clean up your hands, you look like a dirty hog. The waitress is always right, you see, so you better leave the proper gratuity, cause if you don't, I'll hunt you down like a dog. Well, I've always been known as a guy with tax, sort of a smooth talker with the ladies, in fact. Besides, I've tamed a few of these roadhouse mamas before. So I put on my very best Clark Gable and I winked at her across the table and I said, you sure are pretty when you're mad. road you see some terrible sights but the way she looked at me that night I figured I'd be lucky if I got out of there alive and then she turned and thundered out of the room with a banging and a crashing like the sound of doom and I just knew she was in the back looking for a rusty knife I was all set to run out of that place and go look for someone from the human race when into the room came the wildest looking bunch of long-haired freakazoid hippie musicians I'd ever seen I knew they was musicians cause they was carrying a string bass and a banjo and they were wearing psychedelic jeans they sat right up and started to play and the beat was rattling the cups and trays and all the crazy pictures on the wall were dancing around and around and the music got louder and the beat got faster and the room was spinning and everything was blurring like a blender and the boy on the banjo was jumping up and down and I kept hearing this crazy sound. The next thing I knew, someone was shaking my arm, saying, please, mister, we didn't mean any harm. And it's just that sometimes people react that way. Every night we come down into this town and we play our music when the sun is down. And what you heard was the Julian Mountain Rag. While I was thinking on that for a minute or two, then the waitress walked back into my view. I jumped up and I was running right out of the door. 
I stumbled through the street and saw my truck And I crawled up into the cab and started her up And as I was moving away, I glanced in the rear view And saw that waitress one more time And she was holding up a sign And it said, live entertainment cover charge You owe us two dollars for listening to the Julian Mountain Rag Come back Well, if you're out one night running late and you take a left turn on 78, just keep right on going through. That's right. Keep driving. Keep on looking for a place called Lenny's or, or something like that. Just don't stop at that there, mama.